Good evening all. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Bye. Hope you're all well. Yeah. And ready for a little burst of healing if you're not so hot. Yeah. Seems like, sorry, but it seems like I've got the job of admitting people. Sometimes this tech stuff does interesting things, folks. You probably know. <laughs> no, I'm on it, Ian. I'm on it. <laughs> I can do it. But it's just sort of interesting. Anyway, folks, uh, welcome to another of our alleviated eight sessions. Uh, and tonight being the first Monday of the month, uh, we've got another healing session. And I, I thought it might be interesting for you to just share something that's got um, no scientific basis to it that I'm aware of. <laughs> but um, for those of you who meditate a bit, it might resonate in a way that uh, it does with me. Um, and it's probably good just as an aside to recognise that when people talk about evidence based medicine, which you hear a lot about in medical circles, the actual definition of um, evidence-based medicine is the notion that um, practitioners use the best available uh, evidence to make decisions and they decide what the best available uh, evidence is based on two things, not just one. Uh, and the two things are what comes out in um, scientific literature, which is probably the thing that people think of first and foremost these days. Uh, but the other one is clinical experience. And we probably all know that there's um, a, a certain appeal in going to somebody who's um, got a fair bit of experience. You know, if your health's not too good, uh, you often feel a little more confident if you go to somebody who's the senior person rather than somebody who's um, just come out of university and doing their initial rounds. And I remember in Tibet, they got this lovely saying that a um, an old patient is better than a young doctor, <laughs> which is sort of like uh, Tibetan humour, I think. But you get the idea. Mm. Uh, anyway, yeah, I, I, I actually really quite like research, but I put a lot of value on clinical experience as well. And when you combine the two, it's sort of like the clinical experience. Um, I think probably brings the wisdom into it, uh, you know, as well as just, um, you know, what the data says. Anyway, um, this, this, um, this uh, notion that I thought might interest you uh, is to do with what happens when you meditate deeply and how it relates to some of the things you might hear of from Chinese medicine. And basically, the idea is that when you meditate deeply, uh, I would suggest you can go into something what's like a unified field. And by a unified field, what I mean is that in, in um, uh, the Chinese theories behind acupuncture, the basic principle is that there's this subtler energy that circulates around the body, uh, which is akin to the way blood circulates the body or um, nervous impulses circulate around the body, but it's a subtler energy uh, and it follows what, what uh, is called meridian. So it follows a, in particular um, lines, if you like. Uh, and it's a bit like, um, it's a bit like the nervous system, uh, a bit like a sort of a power grid, you know, with lines going out across the country. You have these lines going through your body. And in, and in acupuncture, the, the notion is that when you're healthy, the energy flow around these meridians is quite um, steady and balanced. Uh, there's no sort of blockages and there's no uh, excessive buildups of energy. So there's sort of no gaps and, 
and, and, and no um, uh, over, overly um, pressured areas either. Mm. Uh, and so the, the also the part of that theory is that when you're not well, uh, that energy flow is disrupted and you do get either breaks in the energy transmission, a bit like a break in a um, telephone, um, uh, sorry, a, a power line. Uh, or, or an excessive build-up of energy like, I don't know, like it's a bit hard with the electrical um, analogy, but you, you get the idea, it's sort of like a, an intensification of energy in one spot um, as opposed to a depletion of energy in one spot. And the idea is with acupuncture that by using uh, the needles, uh, they can actually help to either bring energy into the body or release it and so balance out this energy flow. So the, the contention I'd have for you that's probably interesting to think about is that when you meditate, and particularly when you meditate deeply, um, it, it's like you go into this, what I would describe as a unified field. And the, a, a really good analogy for that one is probably something you remember from your physics days, uh, and you don't have to be an advanced physicist. Probably most of us did this little experiment fairly early on in school because it was quite fun. And usually the teacher had put um, a piece of white paper on sort of a thin board and then sprinkle iron filings out across the white paper and then put a strong magnet underneath the uh, paper and all the iron filings would line up in a nice pretty pattern. Some of you remember doing that? I, I can certainly remember it. And um, uh, it's, it, it's sort of, um, that, that's the same sort of thing. It seems to me like when I'm talking about a unified field, that, that way that a magnet actually uh, lines up all the iron filings into these pretty patterns. To my mind, in this way of thinking is what happens when you meditate uh, really deeply is that all the energy flow through your body actually lines up and goes in the right directions, a bit like acupuncture on a grand scale. Uh, and I, 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 I've often wondered whether when you hear about people who have had really dramatic healings, um, courtesy of meditating quite intensively, whether this hasn't actually had quite a bit uh, to do with it. Uh, just let me check something here for a minute. Yeah. Um, so anyway, it's just uh, just a, a, a notion. Um, and I wonder maybe if we've had a, a sort of, we've been wondering for a while, people, and I'm just, so I can't sort of see everybody at the moment, um, but perhaps if you can, people, we've been wondering um, with our Alleviate sessions, we've been going for quite a while now, and uh, it's always been sort of one way traffic, as it were. It's sort of been uh, one of our different Alleviate uh, mentors and myself, Ruth, uh, uh, Saurabh and uh, other people uh, actually giving a presentation and leading a uh, meditation and we've been wondering about whether people would like to like to actually uh, divide up at sometimes just occasionally not all the time uh, into a smaller group and discuss how their meditations going for a few minutes with peers as it were um, so I wonder if we could just take a straw poll now uh, I'm not suggesting we do this tonight but just just getting a bit of a sense of this um, if, if you'd like at some point in time to divide up into a small group, do you mind just putting your hand up and just leave it up for a second? If you'd rather not, just leave your hand down. And it would be interesting just to get a bit of a sense of what the balance is in there. And so if you can have a look through, because there's probably a couple of pages to check out. Um, How are you going, Sorry, Have you had a chance to have a look? Uh, I did, Ian. I think uh, very few. <laughs> very few. Okay. Well, that makes life easier for all of us in a sense. <laughs> and it's always worth asking these things. 
um, because we're we're very happy to um, do this the way we do, and it, it's I think there's a certain appeal in just coming on and, and being a part of it. Um, as as you know, this evening uh, or today, wherever you are, um, we do have another one of our healing sessions, and these are quite particular uh, in that um, some people nominate to. Uh, join the meditators who are going to offer that sort of meditative energy and and in a sense create this sort of uh, force field that we're talking about really uh, and, and with the intention of helping those who might need uh, some uh, help with their healing process and their healing journey uh, and some people um, have, have actually indicated that they, they'd like to receive that uh, healing uh, this evening and um, some like to do that anonymously which is perfectly understandable and others like it actually to be known so um, on the on the chat we can put up um, those who are interested in uh, receiving and um, uh, oh, uh, Saurabh's actually in, uh, suggesting we can actually add, add a poll have you done this on chat, sorry, because it hasn't shown up on mine? No, no. Uh, why do things in half measure when Zoom allows you to do it in full measure? So, okay. um, so I have I have put up a straw poll as you suggested, Ian, and uh, if people want to respond to that, that would be that would be great. Okay. So, what they go on to chat? Just polls, actually. There should be a poll um, right there, and people are responding. Oh, yeah. People are quite a few people have responded already. Yeah, I can see the I can see the results. Wow, it's actually neck and neck. It's, you were you were more shy in the waving people than uh, you were responding <laughs> to them. <laughs> okay, I, we'll think the nose, I think the nose have it. I, really, I mean, I I think unless it was overwhelmingly yes, it's it's not a good idea. So, uh, I th I think we've answered the question. I'll put up the uh, list of receivers and givers now on chat. Wonderful. So please. So for those of you who are, are, are joining the uh, group of people who are giving, you might like to uh, just check out the chat and have a look through um, who's nominating to receive the energy. And just, you know, you may, you may even know some of these people, but you may not, but you can hold them in your thoughts. You can, you can look through the names as we're doing the, the, uh, the practice and very much have that sense if you're one of the ones who's receiving this healing energy tonight of that that notion of how energetically this can really help to rebalance you so another way of looking at it is a bit like um, you know when your computer's playing up and you and you shut it down or you um, sort of reboot it uh, it's sort of like going back to the default uh, and, I, and I guess the, the real basis of this sort of healing is that as human beings, our default is to be healthy, uh, that disease is actually an add-on. And it, it's not to sort of get into some sort of shame or guilt or some, some sort of difficult emotion if you've got an illness, because there's so many uh, causes for those add-ons, you know, for getting a disease and they, they're complex and multiple and um, all of us have had illness at different times um, but to understand and really i think take heart from the fact that actually um, left to its own devices our, our body is incredibly well designed to be healthy and to stay healthy uh, and to heal when it needs to so meditation is one of the probably most powerful ways uh, of helping the body to create the internal environment in which you can heal and contribute to its own recovery you know i think you know again think of things like exercise and what we eat as, as, as other really big factors but this meditation really can be quite profound so um let's go into this exercise now and if you need to adjust your body uh, maybe just get settled it's, it's good you can certainly do this um, exercise lying down uh, particularly if you're um, receiving the energy, sometimes 
it's actually quite nice to lie down and really uh, relax thoroughly. Um, and, it, and, and don't be too concerned if you drop off to sleep. Uh, it's amazing what the, um, the mind can do. Uh, but all things being equal, if you can, if you can sit, that's, that's uh, probably uh, ideal. This depends on your circumstances. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if you are sitting, um, if your body's comfortable, then it's good to be have your back fairly upright, and probably have your feet just flat on the floor, a little apart, and your hands just resting on the thighs. And if you're lying down, perhaps good to uh, lie on your back. That's comfortable, and have a sense of symmetry. So if you're lying down, sort of have your legs just a little apart feet just falling to the outside and, and and sort of have a sense of being equally balanced on both sides. And the hands by the sides. And if it's comfortable enough, uh, preferable to have your palms up. But if that doesn't work so well, then just um, basically any, any posture will do against the um, recommendations that all things being equal, there are some preferences. And the main thing with the posture is to be able to relax into it. And to have that sense that your posture is actually supporting your, your body, obviously. And it's a support for your mind. So a real clear sense that your mind is actually in your body, connected to your body. And just as we begin this uh, healing meditation, to have a real sense of the mind being connected with the body, the two interacting. And if you're one of the people who's receiving Tonight, just, just relax easily. Just in your own way. Just going into a simple, deep relaxation. You might like to remind yourself of your intention. About meditating and receiving this meditative um, healing energy. So being open, receptive. And that notion of how through the support of other people can actually help to potentiate your own healing capacity. And help your body regain its natural balance. And then for those who are giving energy this evening, today, again, it's always helpful to begin by reminding yourself of your intention. And with this practice, the intention is very much that we draw on what's like a universal energy and transmit it. So it's not like we're trying to generate an energy of our own making, which would have the sense of us giving away our energy. In fact, we're actually just being like a conduit for energy. We're like drawing it in and directing it in a particular way to in this case, to people who are in need. And if you are in the habit of prayer, it can be very helpful to start an exercise like this with your own prayer.
prayer. And then in your mind, imagine as if it's in the sky above you, the highest source of power that you know. So if you come from a particular spiritual tradition, what's the embodiment of that tradition? Is it like Christ or Mother Mary? It would be God. Or another tradition, is it like Buddha or a particular god or a particular uh, saint or a particular god? What actually embodies this highest form of energy and power that you relate to? And if you have a more universal view, then it can be helpful to imagine like a ball of light, like the sun, as representing and embodying, representing this infinite source of energy that's all around us, all through the universe. So either using the image of a ball of light or a particular figure, then imagine as if a stream of light is either coming from the heart of that figure or from the centre of the ball of light. And this is like translucent light, almost, but almost like a shower. It's almost like it's liquid like a vapour. So a stream of light, clear and white, sort of almost like it's shimmering, or translucent, coming from the very heart or the very centre of this universal force for good universal energy. She has this real strong sense of loving kindness behind it and through it. And this beam of light shines down directly onto your head and a bit like being under a shower or a waterfall, it just gently flows into your body. And imagine your body as if a bit like a vase in the shape of your body. It's like an opening at the crown of your head through which this liquid white light's flowing down. And so it gradually fills your whole body. And in the process, it fills your body with this sense of vitality energy and if you have any particular ailments yourself a real sense that those are healed transformed by this radiant white light and sometimes as you connect with this light and really feel its presence there can be like a warmth or a tingling that comes into your body And you can imagine your body becoming almost translucent itself, filled with this warm, liquid white light all through your body. And as this light continues to flow down and into your body, imagine then that from your own heart, it flows out, out through your chest and out to these people whose 
basis you might have seen on the meeting. You might even like to open your eyes and look at them again or look at the list on the on the chat. And you can imagine that wherever these people are, that this light is beaming out towards them. And joining with the light coming from others who are giving of this energy in this exercise. And imagine it flowing into the hearts of all the other people who are receiving. Warming their hearts. That same sense of vitality, energy, healing. And that real sense of loving kindness flowing with it. And then from their hearts, just gently radiating out through their body. Flowing out through the body. So again, again a bit like each of these other people's bodies is like a vase. It's just filling now with this warm, translucent, healing energy in the form of light. And just imagine the feeling for these other people. feeling of warmth and energy, healing flowing through their bodies. And for those who are receiving, if there was a particular part of your body to which you'd like to direct this energy in particular or concentrate it, an area that's in particular need, you can just imagine this energy flowing to that particular area. And really transforming it. It's a bit like being has been a cave that's been in the darkness for a long, long time. And you come in with a lamp, light. Doesn't matter how long the darkness has been there, the light just immediately transforms it. So in the same sense, this healing light and wash through, transform, enliven areas of the body that might need particular healing. <clears throat> and then for everyone involved, just imagine this white light really coming more and more intense through your own body. Brighter, brighter. Real sense of energy and vitality, healing. Then we can just imagine this energy flowing out beyond the reaches of our own body flying out through the room or the space that we're in. If there are other people in other parts of the household we're in, imagine them being just gently enveloped really by this healing energy, this light, filling their bodies and giving them the same presence of healing light and flowing out we're beyond the confines of where you happen to live, people in your immediate neighbourhood. And remember that this energy that's coming to you and that you're now imagining flowing on to other people is coming from an infinite source. So there's no possibility of it being limited. It's actually infinite. So it's just like we can feel it flowing into us, 
and then gently radiating out through our neighbourhoods, out into the wider area, maybe if we're in a city or in the countryside. And we can just have this wish that all people can feel this energy. Think of all combining, sending out this healing energy. Right out across the countryside, in a particular state, a particular country. You might think of particular places in the world we know are in need. Imagine the whole planet wrapped in this clear, white, vibrant, healing light. And then it's like we can let go of that imagery and just rest in the feeling of all this. Warm, radiant, translucent light all through. And just resting quietly for a few moments. Relaxing deeply. It's healing energy all through. All through. Just going with it. Going.
So now just bring your attention back to your body more particularly once again. Just notice the feeling in your body. Perhaps a deeper breath or two. Maybe moving your feet, your hands a little, and then when you're ready, just letting your eyes gently open once again. Good, folks. So, if you're one of the ones who's been receiving energy tonight, you might even like just to sit or lie where you are for a little longer. And uh, if you can uh, not get involved in too much else this evening, perhaps uh, if it is evening where you are, if you're on this east coast like of Australia like I am, uh, maybe it's good to just uh, really aim to have as relaxing an evening as you can. Maybe go to bed soon. Uh, just let all this settle a little bit more. And big thank you for those who've uh, been part of the giving team tonight. And I uh, wish you all a good week. And uh, we'll see you all again uh, next week. The poll was 3565, Ian. Yes. <laughs> so I think we've decided we'll yes. just stick with plan A. Yes. <laughs>